Hello everyone, today I want to show you our kindergarten work boxes. I want to show you what my kindergarten student does on a typical day for homeschooling. So this is her little area here. And here we have her bookshelf and it is categorized by fiction and nonfiction. All of the books have stickers on the back, dot stickers, either red or blue. And so she knows where to put her books back and she also learns to categorize books by fiction and nonfiction at an early age. So it's a great little way of organizing books. Over here we have her work box rolling cart. This is where we organize all of her work throughout the week. Over here we have her little desk uh, and chair. And there we have a little toolbox that she has all of the things that she needs to do all the work in the work boxes. She has scissors, crayons, pencils, markers, erasers, all types of things. Here we have her schedule strip for the work box. We have a sticker chart. So she gets a sticker uh, based on her efforts, based on any outstanding things that she does throughout the day. Once she fills out the chart, she gets to go into a price bin and she really loves that. I'll post a link in the description box where you can watch a video on how we do that. We have some of her drawings displayed here. These are drawings that she does throughout the week. She loves drawing. It's uh, absolutely one of her favorite pastimes. Um, I will take these out and put them in her art portfolio when, she, um, when they have uh, filled the wall. We have a numbers chart, um, counting by tens chart. We have a little toy bin. She gets to pick out different toys every couple of days that she can have in her toy bin and they get rotated out. Um, so to explain how everything works, I wanna start from the beginning. So we start off <clears throat> about 9 a.m. and uh, the first thing that we do is we do a flashcard session for five minutes. Um, we go over different things that we want to create fluency for. Um, then after that we do, she does her numbers chart. Um, she, um, also has, um, stuff here on the wall that she works on. We have a sponsored child that we always pray for every day. We also have an act of kindness tree. If she hasn't already done so for the week, she picks out an act of kindness from here. It's like a little leaf and she puts it on the tree. Teach your sister something new, make grandma drawing, help dad clean the backyard are the three leaves that she's put up on the tree so far we've been doing this for three weeks and um, by the end of the year this tree should be full of kindness leaves it should be interesting so once we do all that we want to start off with um the first work box here so the first work box is a calendar memory work and so in here she has a calendar that we got at the dollar store and this calendar helps to teach different concepts. So let me show you how cool this thing is. Um, so you, I got the uh, my little pony because she loves my little pony. And then um, she gets to write in the day of the week. We go over the days of the week. We go over the month. We go over the year. We go over any special events, people's birthdays, whatever it is. And this is a fun way to learn the calendar. And she loves it. Back here we have a memory work pouch. And then there we have the poem that she's memorizing for the month and also any other type of memory work. Right now we're working on presidents. Um, and so she has president flashcards that she is working on. So that's, mem that's calendar memory work and that's the first thing she does in the morning. Then she moves on to the next category. And the next category is logic. I have logic as number one category. That's the first thing that I want her to do in terms of work boxes because I want to get her brain working. I want to get her motivated for the day. So I have some logic activity that is usually fun that she loves. She loves logic activities and that I put in this bin. So in this bin, I usually put logic games, um, logic activities, critical thinking. For example, this is um, a printable that uh, you can get on Teachers Pay Teachers and it's a logic activity pack and it starts easy, then it starts getting harder and it has different um, logic activity for children. So this is one, for example, 
They have to classify by two attributes, by color and by type of face. So here we have a sad face and then blue. So that would go here. Let's see here. Sad face green. And, and on and on. Surprise face blue. And the child goes on and on um, sorting these by two attributes. I love this act logic activity pack and I'll post a link on the description box where you can get it on Teachers Pay Teachers. I also put all other, other games in here, other logic games that I have. Um, I have a whole playlist on a lot of the games that we use for her. Um, I have made reviews of these games and you guys can check them out on my channel. I'll post a link on the description box to those as well. That's for logic. Then the second thing I move on to do is math. Why? Because math is one of the most, um, well, one of the subjects that you need a lot of concentration for, so I want to put it in the top. Here today we have um, her Matthew C worksheet for the day. Um, we do the Matthew C program, Matthew C kindergarten program. So I put in the worksheet, and she'll be doing that worksheet today. Um, I'll also be reading this um, Math Start. It's called Seaweed Soup Matching Sets, and it's. It's just a living math book that I read. It's a story about math. This one's about matching sets. And I usually include some type of read, read aloud in there too. So that's what she'll be doing for math today. Here are her blocks for math, you see. And uh, for math, I, I have uh, her do math, you see one day and then do a hands-on activity another day. So today we're doing math, you see. Then tomorrow we'll do a hands-on activity for math. Um, which usually um, um, includes the abacus or some type of Montessori-inspired math activity. So we go back and forth. Here we have writing. And I put this one in here between math and phonics because I know that writing is something that she loves. So I'm going to have and put it in here. So she will be doing some copy work. Um, let me show you guys. So I, I write out a sentence here. I saw a cat and a bat. And she writes it here in this paper. Um, she copies it. And then she draws a picture right here at the top. She has a writing journal that she's going to start using very soon. But we're starting. We're trying to use up all that um, paper that we have left over from last year. She also has a number of the day that she does and a letter. So she'll be doing tracing. Um her O's and her threes, and then writing them out at the bottom there. That's what she has for writing, and she does it so quickly, guys. Five minutes, she'll be done with writing. She loves writing, so um, it's something that I put here to uh, take her to phonics, which is another uh, subject that requires a lot of concentration and that she has to do with me. This one is done with me. Um, so she has her aquaphonics lesson that I have in this laminate sheet for the day. So for example, today she's working on lesson 54. And so she'll read these to me. She'll read the sentence. Um, and then we have a Bob's book that she'll read and she's working on set four, book three. She'll read this out loud to me. And then she'll be done with phonics. That's simple guys for phonics. Uh, keep it simple and to the point. Then once she has finished that, um, well, let me explain something to you guys. So when, when she finishes things, she takes the number off. That means she's done. And she'll go ahead and she'll put this on her schedule strip right here. One, that means she's done. She's done with two. When she was done with math, she takes off the little sticker here and puts it here on the schedule strip. Okay. And she goes on and on doing that. Then, um, so she's done calendar, memory work, logic, math, writing, phonics. Um, that's what she mainly does throughout the day. Then she gets to the fun box. And this is um, a bin in which I have some fun activity for her. Because once she gets to this bin, she's already done. And um, she can go on and uh, do other things around the home. So here we have one of her favorite things to do, which is sticker dolly dressing. So she has this sticker book that she has in here. 
And so she got to dress up dolls. Let me show you guys what they look like. So they come like this. And then she takes the stickers in the back and gets them dressed. And she absolutely loves doing this. See, this is one that she that she already did. She, this is a one that she already did, actually. So she got some dressed up. She loves doing this stuff. Here's one that she has to do. So that's one of the things that she really loves to do. I also have in here a cutting activity. Um, this comes from the Kuman first book of cutting. So I want her to practice cutting and I put this in here and she gets her scissors from her uh, toolbox in there. That's what I have for fun box today and I try to uh, change these out. I have different things that she loves, loves, loves to do so that she goes ahead and gets motivated to go through her bins and get to the fun box. And she absolutely loves um, getting motivated this way. So once that has happened, she's pretty much done and she can go ahead and do whatever she wants around the house, you know, play with her sister, do other things. Um, after lunchtime, she has um, nap time, quiet time. Um, and then we come back in the afternoon and we get to pick one of these subjects. So as you can see, there's a number five here because once a week she does science, character training, history, and geography. So today, for example, it's Monday, so she's doing science. Um, and these are just read alouds that she does for the main, for the most part. So um, this is the only thing that we do in the afternoon. It takes about 20 minutes. So today we're doing science. So for example, for science today, we're going to be, let me just show you guys, take it out. Uh, we're going to, to go over this uh, Osborne Look Inside Your Body book. And we are doing this fun um flat book which goes over uh the digestive system and what happens when you eat your food and it's cool because it's like a little flat book and it has all types of flaps and facts so i just read these aloud to her that's what i'll be doing today i'll be reading this aloud to her and then uh going over the facts and what happens when you eat your food and any questions that she may have and then we'll be doing a little project in which we make a stomach model from this straw and this little bag and we'll go over how the digestive system works in a simple way that little kids can understand so that's what we're doing for science today once she's done she takes the number off and she is done now at that point she's done for the day because like i said the top part uh, the top portion she does before lunchtime and then we come back in the afternoon and do one of these um today was science tomorrow this little number five is going to be here on the character training so tomorrow tuesday we'll be doing character training and, and i'll be reading a um a bible story i'll be going over uh, a chapter in a little book of manners by ebony barnes courtesy and kindness for young ladies and i'll also be reading a story from the children's book of virtues we you we focus on one virtue a month and so let me show you guys how it works so i have it already picked out here so we're doing the tortoise and the hare and um here in the front shows all of the virtues let me see if this shows all the virtues here all of the virtues that are in the book um, so I focus on one virtue a month so there's courage perseverance responsibility work discipline compassion faith honesty loyalty and uh, that's what we do for character training it's pretty simple just read out loud and talk about it then on Wednesday uh, we'll do history and uh, we are reading a um, story from the History Stories for Children. And um, this week we're reading Alexander the Great, reading a lot to her. Talks about his horse and everything. Then at the back it has some questions, comprehension, que comprehension questions, of which I um, just ask her random questions about the story. With that, I have a little mat that she's doing. This is a Play-Doh mat in which she will be making a horse with Play-Doh because the, the Alexander the Great story talks about a horse. So 
It goes along with it to make it hands-on and fun for her. That's for history. Wednesday. And then Thursday, we do geography. For geography, uh, right now we're working on, she already knows all of her states. So now we're working on labeling the states. Uh, I don't have her label the states. I just have her label the states by the first letter. So, for example, North Dakota would be an N. South Dakota would be an S. So she labels the map and then she colors the map according to the colors that I have here on this map. So it's double the learning. This is a puzzle that I made for her that I have her do as well. This is super easy for her. Um, so that's what I have her do for, that's what I'm having her do for geography right now. And I will continue working on this until she is able to completely label the map. Um, and then I can move on to something else from geography. Okay, so that is our work boxes. That's how we work the work boxes. Um, it's very simple. I focus on the core, which is uh, reading, writing, and math. And then um, also we always, we always do logic in the morning. Um, and then once a week, we do the science, character training, history, and geography um, that I mentioned below. Over here on the top, we have our weekly read-alouds. Um, here we have a mix of fiction, nonfiction, and poetry. I'll pick out for her for the week. And we also read from What Your Kindergarten Needs to Know. I go ahead and I put sticky notes on what I'm reading every day for her. And I'm reading from the uh, Peter Peter Rabbit, the complete tales of Peter Rabbit this, this week. I'm reading some Curious George stories and also this is the poem book that we're using right now this week a child's book of poems by Jill Fujikawa we have different a variety of different things that we do um once we read a book we log it in our reading log and um we have everything logged in so that we know what we have read for the year it's very very nice to see um so I think I have shown you everything guys this video is um going on to 18 minutes soon uh, I just wanted to show you a brief overview of what I do with my kindergarten student. It's very simple. Um, the way that we have set up the work boxes for her, keep her motivated. And um, it's a nice way of organizing everything. And it's working really nice right now. Um, I'm sure as time goes by, uh, things will change. And um, we'll keep updating the way that we do our work with her. I hope that you have gotten some good ideas from this video. I'll post a link in the description box of some of the resources that you saw here. Um, thank you so much for watching. Until the next video. Bye-bye.